Morning folks. I guess this kicks off our adventures for the 2023 turkey season. Got up real early this morning, hit the road, saw lots of animals, lots of deer. I think that's a one of the one of the defining and coolest parts about this time of year is that everything just comes to life. There's tons of birds. Deer are moving like crazy, feeding like crazy on these fields that are left. Turkeys start to fire up, of course. I watched some cross the road uh, just shortly before I got to the property up here that I'll be hunting on. And then I got up here at the cabin and there's birds chirping everywhere. Turkeys gobbling from like three directions. Haven't gotten anything on, on film really besides some deer, but my hopes are definitely high because there's definitely some turkeys in the area. It's just like a situation where they're kind of back in the woods a bit right now. And I can't really, I, I don't want to jeopardize like spooking them just to get some footage of them. But it's definitely good to know that they're around right now. They're gobbling, they're getting fired up. There's tons and tons and tons of snow up here. Still, it's gonna be like 70s, maybe up to like 80 this week, but there's still so much snow on the ground in the swamps. I was like going up to like my knee um, in some water when I was walking, trying to go to the back field to take a peek back there. And it's like, I don't think anything's gonna be back there because I'm, I'm getting soaked. But yeah, I've enjoyed doing this the past couple of years where I come up here like a week early, week or two early. Ideally, it would have been earlier than this. But yeah, I don't want to sit here and talk all day and waste my morning away, I guess. Season's in nine, nine-ish days. It's Monday right now, Monday morning before first, two Mondays before first season. So not Wednesday doesn't start this week, but it starts next week, Wednesday. If, if that ain't the most complicated way to explain it. Main focus of this video today is to get up here, set up some cameras, get our spots set up. I've got Alex coming up with me next week. I don't think he's been in a video yet, but it'll be, no, he has been in a couple of fishing videos. Um, but it'll be fun having Alex up here, trying to get him, I think his first turkey, I'm not sure. We're both relatively new to it, so it's gonna be a fun time. But yeah, setting up trail cams today and trying to get the spots set up I tried getting the first spot set up over at like the backfield road where I messed up on those toms last year and it's just it's draining water right now and the spot where I sat last year is completely flooded there's no possibility at all that we're going to be able to sit there as of now so we're going to have to find somewhere else I'm going to have to figure something else out but yeah it should be a good day I'm going to get started on getting back to the cabin I just walked out here right now just to see if I could see any wildlife I'm going to get oh there's a deer right there I'm gonna get started heading back to the cabin right now so I can grab the cameras, get back out to these spots, um, and then set up the cameras. Try to set up some kind of ground blind at these spots, but at this rate, I'll need a shovel to shovel everything out. So I don't even know. Maybe I'll have to make another trip this week, but I guess let's see what we find. All right, we're approaching our first spot now. A spot that we call gobbler knob it's pretty self-explanatory there's a knob right there where the swamp comes up and uh i guess they're supposed to be gobblers but i guess the camera will have to tell us for sure I'm trying to think of where i want to put it now let's see I'll probably just put it right on this tree and then overlook here all the way to there well yeah because i want it to be looking at that trail for sure if something comes through there comes across here or comes from the left too and cuts in here but yeah basically if you're looking at this from like an aerial view um, you got a trail coming in from the north or it's like a mowed road back here coming in from the north another one coming from the south and I guess another one going up to the knob or coming from the knob from the east. So everything kind of intersects right here at the top of this little hill. And the snow is actually already melting off pretty good back here, I'm thinking because it gets a lot of sunlight. 
also the deer have been using it like crazy so if we just throw the camera up here the snow should be gone sometime this week with the temps getting up to like 80 and then hopefully this is like an area where some gobblers and hens will come um, I guess where they'll be fanned out sunbathing a little bit gotta give a little bit of, sh of a shout out to Wayne instead of using straps this year he hooked us up with some looks like some little screw in things that kind of you know line up like that or however on the tree and then yeah attach it like that so you don't have to put the strap around it's not an easy tree I guess it's a screw this into somewhat parallel all right let me grab the camera oh pretty vertical not bad at all all right now as you can see on my screen here the tactic cam is pointing out towards where myself and the camera are at so that's going to be the field of view that we have it's going to show up really grainy on here just because it's from a screen recording but you get the point all right we'll call that good for the first spot don't want to waste too much time with this but i think this could be a solid spot now on to the next spot which is probably going to be the honey hole that is one crazy trail clearly the deer are using this quite a bit because this trail is like a road coming through here I'm at the honey hole now. I don't think I said it before, but I'm not planning anymore on like setting up the actual blinds today. There's just too much snow to where it, it's, it's impossible. It is absolutely impossible right now. Um, so I'm going to come back like later this week. I've said it like three times already, but it's going to get up to like summer temps this week. I'm going to come back later this week, set up the blinds, the ground blinds. Um, so at Gob Knob, I did pick out a spot. And I guess I'll get to that in the next video um, once all this snow is gone. Now I'm at the honey hole. It's where I shot my first turkey ever last year. Um, and I'm actually standing right in front of where I had the blind. I'll just, I'll show you just a second here. Turn this around. So right back in those pines, right there at the base of that tree is where I set up. And we put a bunch of pine branches up and whatnot. Everything's kind of blown over by the wind and snow now, so I have to redo it later this week or right before the season next week. But this is the spot that I have the highest hopes for. It was a money spot last year with the trail camera. Um, and while I was hunting here too, uh, I shot a tom here. My dad and I came here and had a couple of, a couple of really close encounters with turkeys. Uh, where we didn't end up getting any shots at toms but still there's tons of turkeys that run this field edge back here um, i think i've talked about it in deer season before too if you're looking at this one from up top it's this probably 200 yard long field or deep field of pine trees and at the back corner there's a trail that comes out of the woods to the back corner of this field and it's very secluded behind all these pines so like even deer um, they of course like to travel this too because you know why wouldn't why wouldn't you like cover it's especially a really good spot for turkeys to fan out during the spring because the sun shines so bright on it once it comes up from the east it shines so bright on this field and they love it back here so i'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up um, on the same tree as last year and i guess we'll see how that looks so yeah even now as i just start to work i'm putting this camera up i'm taking a look at this field and I mean, you can see it. there's turkey tracks right there, actually. I didn't think there were any back here. So there's some right there. Um, but there's a trail that runs straight up through there. That's actually the exact trail that I killed my turkey on last year. And now that I'm looking at this, I think the original spot that I had, there's like a couple rows of pines. Mine's on the second one back from here. And it's probably honestly like 50 yards away from right here. But I think my best bet is actually to move it one row closer and then cut a good lane to that other side so that I can shoot to that other side still but then I'm closer to here I can shoot to that trail and I can shoot to that main trail that's coming through here and they both like they both funnel 
right out of here. As far as the camera goes, I like to have it on this tree right here. Um, I just showed you where those trails come out. And if you turn around, that's where I was looking from. So they come out from behind and they come right out into this field. I like to have the camera facing the exact way that I'm facing right now so that if they come out into this field from behind, they cut right in front of the camera on either of these trails. Camera catches them and then I can see if they're traveling through here. It's good intel. But anyway, we'll get started putting this up. <sighs> it's been like 15 minutes now. I don't know if there's like a manufacturing error with this or something, but these parts right here are two separate parts that are supposed to just pop together. And I had to thread it through, thread one through the other until basically it stripped out the entire thing. Oh God until basically it stripped out the entire thing and then you know made it loose enough to where it just popped right in okay so sorry tacticam so sorry to put you through this well, that's going to conclude it for setting up this trail camera i do want to show you the spot though that i'm going to put or that i'm going to set up like a little blind spot for alex and i in just a second here oh yeah look at all the turkey tracks coming through the snow here all kinds of them right in here cutting straight through here let's get up on this drier ground here all right so camera straight that way about i don't know 30 yards 20 25 30 yards right that way Here's the first row of pines you can see right in front of me here. And if I step through these, just duck under here quick. All right, now I'm in between the rows. Right there is where I was last year. So there's this opening that comes out from the swamp. The road runs over here as well. And then the camera is over there through these trees. I had to shoot through these trees last year to shoot over to where the birds come out. And so this year, I wanna be on this row of pines right here. That way I can cut a lane. And if I have to shoot through those trees over there, then it's a lot easier because it's a lot shorter shot. Over to that trail is maybe 20 yards through the trees. Whereas last year it would have been 40 to 50 through the trees over here. And what I'm thinking is that since we got all this snow, I think I mentioned it, but everything's so flat. Last year there was all this tall grass sticking up still um, that I had to shoot through and all this brush. If I bring a pair of trimmers out here and pick like these pines right here on the edge of this, I could probably make a good barrier and we could use a couple of trunks. And then you can't see it from here, but you could easily shoot over to there if I just cut like a little lane. Easily shoot to that opening you can easily shoot to this corner now. So whenever I come back to make that video, this is gonna be the spot where I set up the blind. And it should be a good one, hopefully. So now that we've got that done, I've got a couple more spots I wanna put cameras for sure. Maybe I'll do the fifth one like next week or something. Um, but we're gonna put one down towards the backfield road where I messed up on those toms last year. And then also at the shoot field where I heard one gobbling this morning. So um, I don't want to leave you on this boring chest POV. So let's go start doing that. I have at last found a spot for my third camera. I went over where I said I was going to go, which is over that way, where I messed up on a couple toms last year. The only problem is with all the snow melting right now, it is so flooded everything is just still covered in snow and flooded for the next week or so and so i started off up by the gap area which is where i know a lot of them roost and i headed north from there along the edge of the field just walking through pure slop absolute garbage made my way all the way to the backfield road into the backfield and ended up on the very west side of the backfield in an area where we had a, a decent number of pictures last year of toms none of which i have saved so i can't really show you those here but 
we had a good number of times that we're just cruising the edge of this field here last year and when it opens up and the snow melts everything's going to be flat there's going to be new growth coming up um, a, a lot of good area for these turkeys to fan out um, dig for stuff feed whatever so I know this is like a very high potential area and this is where I'm going to put my camera right now what a struggle Gotta make everything 10 times more difficult, don't I? Oh, I found it. Let's go. I just need it to be about the height of like the field or a little higher so that I can point it down just a little bit at the field. It's right on a trail that comes up from a swamp to the field. And then of course, animals follow the edges of fields all the time, so. Good little spot here. Now that I've got this spot set up, the backfield edge, the honey hole, and gobbler's knob, that's three spots. I got one more that I want to do for a fourth one today. That's back at the chute, which is like a couple to a few hundred yards behind the cabin and down the road from the cabin. It's like this long field, kind of similar to the honey hole with a bunch of pines, um, but it's I think it's a little bit deeper than the honey hole field. And I heard a tom gobbling back there this morning. Usually I don't like focus on it too much as a, as a turkey hunting area, but I heard that Tom gobbling so I know they're in the area back there. I know just up the road at Jerry's house, they're always around there. So I'm going to give that a try this year. We're going to head back there, trudge through all of that snow, get the last camera set up for the day before I come back sometime again within the next week. Oh my gosh. Sorry to leave this video at a standstill, but I just got back to the back of this field and it was I mean it was three hours ago or more that I heard that gobbler back here and I just walked up on him he just popped out from behind a pine tree like 40 yards away big beard hanging down and then he kind of ducked behind some trees because I'm sure he saw me just got the camera pointed towards the, like towards where he was right now in case he pops out but I think he's probably going back down into the swamp I think I'm gonna very quickly throw the camera up on a tree I'm gonna try to be quiet get that camera up to a spot where I like it and then try to get out of here quick and leave it unbothered let the turkeys do their thing for the next week or so and then I'm gonna catch you guys back at the cabin. She's definitely getting toasty. Can you believe that? 62 degrees. Just out of nowhere. It's been too cold to melt anything lately and now this hot spell is nice but I am sweaty. My feet are wet. I scared a Tom. A lot of rough things. I'm tired. A lot of a lot of walking through snow. So this is where I'm going to finish off this video. I'm still in high spirits though. We are just a little over a week out from going after turkeys. Can't even believe that. I feel like I feel like it was just December when I was saying, "God, I can't wait for turkey season." Now it's seriously like basically here because getting out here and doing this is just as fun as hunting turkeys too. So yeah, I got my four cameras set up today. Coming back to set up my other spots. It's going to be like a two-part video, I think, before the season starts. Yeah, if, if you followed along, thanks a ton. I know it wasn't that interesting, but sometimes it's cool to see how people think and process things and go about scouting and hunting for whatever animal they're hunting. So yeah, we're going to call it here on this hot, sunny day. We're going to enjoy this beautiful weather this week. We're going to keep getting after it until we can't get after it anymore. Have a good week, folks.